So for those of you hoping we're going to see bigger batteries with the iPhone 14 series, there is good news regarding that because we have details that Apple could be increasing the battery up to 5,000 million powers with one of the iPhone 14 models. That's pretty insane, and so let's delve into it, but first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors, and with that being said, let's just talk in. So this information comes from a source called Isaac, who by the way has not leaked very much in the past, and so do take this with a grain of salt. Anyways, coming to the battery capacities they give us, they say the regular 14 Pro is going to get a 3,700 million power battery and the Pro Max is going to get a whopping 4,800 million power battery. Now that's pretty impressive if true, because the 13 Pro has a 3,125 million power battery inside and the Pro Max has a 4,373 million power battery, so this is actually quite a size increase. And yeah, the 13 Pro is already pretty good when it comes to battery life, and so physically increasing the batteries even further with these devices is really going to give these god-tier battery life. In fact, with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I easily get two days of battery life, and so increasing the battery even further could mean this device could last three or even four days for some users. Now some of you guys might be wondering how is this possible, well of course, do you remember the CADs did show us the phones are getting thick and taller and so of course that allows for more internal space that could be used for the battery. But also with the SE3, Apple managed to not increase the volume of the battery but somehow increase the battery, in fact I believe Samsung has new tech based on EV batteries where they can now make more energy dense smartphone batteries and so yes I'm assuming that's going to be implemented with the iPhone 14 series. And so yes, while the physical volume of these batteries won't be a lot bigger, the new chemistry they're using with these batteries allows these batteries to have a higher capacity, which I can't lie guys, I'm really excited about. Like seriously, the big feature I care about with every new iPhone is battery upgrades, because what's the point of giving us all these fancy features if the phone dies within a few hours of use and you can no longer use them? So yes, I do value battery life, and seeing these massive battery increases we could see with the iPhone 14 series definitely gets me excited. And actually I'm more excited about the regular iPhone 14 models since of course, do you remember the camera module eats into a ton of internal space within these devices and so the regular models having a much smaller camera module on the back allows for a much bigger battery and so yes I do think there's a very good chance the 14 Max could see a 5000 million power battery inside. And really that would be the dream because Apple obviously is ahead of the competition when it comes to efficiency with their chips and the software of their devices and so if the iPhone could match battery capacities of other Android phones I could see it lasting for many many days. And so yes with many Android flagships offering 5000 million power batteries Apple giving us that with the 14 Max and of course a 60 hertz panel on the front could make this the new battery champ and that again does get me excited. And yeah, to be honest, I do not care about 120Hz on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, and so if the 14 Max offers the best battery life on any iPhone, I'm definitely going to get that instead. And by the way, the same story applies for the regular iPhone 14. I do see that getting a slightly bigger battery than the 14 Pro, much like the iPhone 13 did, compared to the 13 Pro. So yeah, fantastic news on the whole, but tell me in the comments below guys, would you upgrade to the iPhone 14 series for the battery improvements alone? Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. Check out the video above on details regarding the iPad Pro with the M2 chip, and on that note I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.